Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to take a look at some line setting tickets for buses that uh, my district has. Uh, as you can see, this one is for 74. Um, now, you're probably wondering how I got these. Um, so when I bought three, three had a bunch of parts and just random stuff that they were um, storing in it, you know, still in it. Um, there was a box full of line setting tickets, manuals, um, air brake books, uh, laid ball employee hand guides, uh, route sheets, all kinds of really cool stuff that, you know, involved our buses and stuff like that. So, um, there are actually quite a few different, um, line setting sheets and manuals and stuff like that. Today, I'm going to show you some of the ones, uh, in the 70s, so I have 74, 75, 76, 77, and 78. Um, and I will also show you pictures of the buses. Um, I also have some uh, from the 60s. I have bus one. Um, I've also got our old bus 19s, some of its information. So if you wanna see those, uh, let me know. Like if you end up liking this video and you wanna see more of the others, um, let me know and I will do those too. So, uh, little backstory before I show you what's in these. Um, first off, you can see there's 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. Um, so, backstory. Um, 74, 75, and 76, we still have... Um, 77 and 78, at least the first gen 77 and 78 are gone. Um, we had the bus 77, which was an Amtrain RE. And we currently have the 2010 bus 78, uh, which is a second gen uh, wheelchair bus. So, my guess is that after first student had come in and uh, bought out Laidlaw, uh, from what I've heard from some of the mechanics that were there, was that they actually came in and took some of our good buses. So, they took uh, 77 and 78, and then they brought us um, the 77 uh, Transit. And then, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm not too sure on this, uh, since they brought in 77, they also brought in 66. Uh, 67 and um, a few other Amtraneries that uh, I'm not sure what numbers they were. Um, I believe I talked about this in another video. But anyways, um, you know, just to give us a bus to make up for the buses that they took. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and show you what's in one of these. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'm going to show you what the line setting ticket looks like and what other stuff is in here. So we're going to go ahead and start uh, with the body line setting ticket. So this is basically what the builder has to look at to see what the bus is ordered with and what it should have and when they're doing all their checks. Um, and you can see up here you've got the job number, um, you've got the customer and what model it is, uh, you've got the body start date, and the chassis start date, you've got uh, the line set date, you've got the ready for delivery date, slot week, you've got the destination state, there's the date on the page. Um, and then, you know, just going down the line, you have all the stuff that the bus was ordered with, um, you know, and all that kind of stuff, and it just tells you how much it has. So you've basically got a few pages of this. Uh, basically just telling you, you know, what the bus has. Uh, let's see, that's three, four, oops, four, five, six. There's quite a few pages to this line setting ticket. Seven. Now, now, 
there is one this one breaks off like you can see where it says end of ticket um, and it breaks off and then it goes into another ticket another line setting ticket for the same bus um, which is just more papers of telling you stuff that the bus comes with so basically if you've ever wondered what a line setting ticket looks like I don't think they've changed it too much and uh, again I haven't ordered a new CE anytime recently so I don't know but basically it just tells you all the information about the bus and then it just tells you what the bus comes with. Now here we have the operator's manual and the warranty information for the transmission. Um, Allison transmission. So, you know, this basically obviously is the manual for the transmission. I mean, yeah. Um, let's see, there should be a picture. I just saw a great big picture. Uh, yeah, so there's the picture of the transmission, a diagram. Um, so that's just the operator's manual for the transmission. The warranty information is obviously just warranty information on the transmission, which that warranty is obviously up. The other thing you get is this lovely sticker on T444E starting instructions. I have no idea why they didn't put this on the bus, but they didn't. Um, so you can see that's what it says. Uh, it tells you only to use certain oils and uh, explosion danger hazard and then it tells you the starting instructions to wait for the glow plugs and all that stuff um, I considered putting one of these on 66 since it's got the same engine but um, I decided not to since this is I mean it's kind of like I want to keep these packs together, you know, because it's all history of those buses and whatever. So you got this lovely little sticker. And then moving on, you've got the engine and operation manual for the T444E. Um, excuse me. And this, look, if you sell the vehicle, give the manual to the new owner. I don't even own any of these buses and I have their manuals. Um, I never got manuals with 66, so this kind of makes up for it, because um, this is for like the 2000 and newer T44, T44Es. Um, I've also got the older one, like from the 90s, um, but yeah, you can see there's pictures and stuff in here for the operation of the engine, and... Oh, well, let's see. We just passed a picture of a truck. Um, and obviously, they used a truck because, you know, I don't know. I would have much rather seen a school bus in there. But again, I'm not surprised that they uh, used the truck because what's the point in making two separate manuals just to have pictures of the bus? Um, so, you know, that's pretty cool. You can obviously tell that that is a 4000 series truck. Um, there's another picture. Oh, look, this one's going downhill. Isn't that cool? Um, so, yeah. Oops. But, um, they all have this. And then the last thing, which, um, oh, there's actually two more things, my bad. The, this is the IC bus, IC school bus five-year limited warranty. I will slowly go down if you want to read it. Um, so you can pause to read. Uh, and stuff like that but this is basically the warranty for the bus and this is when I see um, you know had started to uh, become a thing it wasn't just Amtran anymore so that's why it says I see bus um, so yeah again you can pause this if you want to read it and I don't think is there stuff nope nothing on the back but it yeah and then the last thing is this lovely International Operators Chassis and Body Operators Manual International IC Bus, August 2000. Um, you know, again, if you sell the vehicle, give the manual to the new owner. Uh, there's International logo. So if we open up the... Oh, look, a first gen. Look at that. Um, and if you look carefully at the hood, you can see that that is not an emblem. It is a applied decal. Um, so, yeah. Uh, there's not really much in here. There are a few pictures. Um, I can find some for you. Like, here's one you can see of the... They're showing you amber warning lights. Uh, there's the mirrors. 
which if you look close enough, you can clearly tell that that is a Amtran 3800, um, and not the first gen hood. Uh, let's see what else is in here. We've got pictures on it. So basically, this pretty much works for any and all first gens. Uh, there's the that you can see. Look at keychain. It's probably some kind of Bluebird Transit. That's why it's turned around. Um, there's the interior. You can see the uh, panel switch or panel stuff like that. I personally very much enjoy the first gen um, setup for the driver. Uh, you got uh, seats. Uh, there's the cross arm and. Again, you can see how that's an applied decal on the hood and not necessarily a, wait, yeah, I think that's an applied decal. Because there are some, that might that one might not be the applied decal, but the bus on the front page, if you look carefully, you can tell that it's just an applied decal and that's not the emblem. There's some inside shots of a first gen when it was new. Stop. This has been a thing lately. People need to learn how to stop. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so that is the manual for the first gen. Um, just some more mirror shots, shots of the mirror, you can see. Uh, let me see if there's any other good photos in here. There's one of the, um, dash for the air switch. There's the radio. I always found these radios, like the way they're on first gens, where it comes off to the side like this, I always found it to be weird. Um, because most of ours never didn't have them. Some of them do. Uh, there's a small picture of something. Uh, let's see. There's the, for the air door. And there's a better diagram of it. Um... I think that's about it for good bus pictures so yeah that is pretty much it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want to see the others that i have i have uh bus ones i have uh some of the 60s i have one of the carpenters um i have some of some bluebirds i have an, a bluebird uh order sheet um for one of the 97 bluebirds and it Actually, on the sheet, it tells you it's the sixth of six buses, and it's pretty cool. Anyways, so if you want to see those, just let me know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.